Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. So it seems as if with this Ben Simmons situation, it seems as if everyone is now starting to be starting to have the same mind, starting to become um, have the same mind with this Ben Simmons situation, right? If you look at figures like uh, Shaquille O'Neal, if you look at people like uh, Charles Barkley, Shannon Sharp, um, you know Stephen A. Smith. A lot of these people are starting to come to the realization that Ben Simmons is not behaving like a professional. These guys are all reaching that conclusion, a conclusion I already arrived at quite some time ago, right? Every, every one of these guys agrees that Ben Simmons needs to be um, more of a professional. They've all agreed that it's totally, probably with the exception of Charles Barkley, they've all agreed that, listen, it's totally fine if you don't want to be there. It's totally fine if you want to change of if you, if, if you want to change of environment. That's totally fine. But the way in which you're going about it is something that is rubbing people the wrong way. And they feel as if he's handling this thing the wrong way. And I personally believe that there will be major ramifications for his actions in the future. I 100 percent believe that. Essentially, what seems to be happening is that. NBA contracts are not functioning like contracts. They're almost turning into handshake agreements, right? You know, handshake agreements, mouth to mouth agreements where you shake somebody's hand and then they go and renege on the, the deal that you. It seems as if that's what NBA contracts are turning into. It doesn't seem as if they're living up to their purpose anymore. People are signing contracts and breaking them. There have been numerous situations of players who have asked who have asked out of their contracts early. I can give you some examples. You could think of somebody like Paul George. Y'all remember Paul George, who was with the Oklahoma City Thunder? I think he signed a four-year deal the next year. Um, I think Kawhi Leonard reached out to him, and he went up to the, I think, was it Sam Presti? Is that the GM of Sam Presti? I'm, I'm, I'm not mistaken. Went up to him and asked if he can you know, be let out of his deal. They let him out of his deal. The next thing you know, he's going to go sign with the Los Angeles Clippers. You have Paul George. Another example is you can think of James Harden. James Harden, who was playing with the Houston Rockets for all, Rockets for all of those years. At a certain point, he said, listen, he had enough, enough is enough. I think he had one year left on his deal. And he said, listen, I can't be here anymore. And he got out of his contract. And now you have Ben Simmons. Now, with the thing of Paul George, Paul George probably handled it, handled this situation, I believe, with a little bit more tact. He wasn't his, um, he, he wasn't, he wasn't the nuisance that Ben Simmons was, right? And I think the Oklahoma City Thunder, based on the way he approached them, I think they decided to say, listen, okay, if this is what you want, man, you don't want to be here anymore. It looks like as if we're going to go into a rebuild. No problem. Have at it. And I think they let him break his contract. James Harden was a little bit more forceful, right? He was a little bit more direct with his comments. He came out, I think when he first got to Houston, he was overweight and all of these different things. He was saying that this wouldn't work. This wasn't going to work. But at least he showed up to work. He didn't skip games. He was there. Did he play well? Not really. But at least he was there. He showed up. He spoke to the press. And ultimately, they reached a situation where they realized, okay, this thing is not going to work. This guy is not giving it his, his all. And ultimately, they dealt him away. Right. But he still showed up in the situation of Ben Simmons or with the situation with Ben Simmons. It's totally different. Ben Simmons, I think, is in his second year of his contract and he wants to leave fine. But the difference is, is the way he's handling it. This situation with Ben Simmons and the Philadelphia 76ers is a mess, is a S show. Flat out, there's no other, there's no two ways to say it. He is breaking every standard protocol, and I've never seen a situation this messy to the point where you have a player now being suspended and thrown out of practices because of behavior that is detriment that was detrimental to the team. Okay. He's definitely not the first player, as I said, that wanted to get out of a situation he was unhappy with. But the way he is rep but the way him and his representatives are going about this is what is stirring up so much conversation. I said it in a previous video and I'm going to say it again. If you're looking at Ben Simmons, you also have to look at Rich Paul. The two of them 
are one and the same. Some people could say, well, somebody said, oh, Ben Simmons is his own man. He makes his own decisions. If that's true, then why does he have an agent? If I'm my own man and I make my own decisions, why do I have an agent? I wouldn't need somebody else. I can just make my own decisions. Ben Simmons is making his decisions and he's also being counseled by his agent. This is this has as much to do with Ben Simmons as it does as it as, as it does to do with his representative represent representation in this case rich paul clutch sports and all of these different things they're the ones that are going about this thing in this messy way as i said it before and i'll say it again i still don't understand what their strategy was you didn't show up then all of us you, you know you're willing to lose money then all of a sudden you show up and then you're going there you're making a nuisance and i think and in that instance you still lost money anyway and now you're creating a scenario in which the entire league is looking at you and looking at this situation and saying let's see how they go about this is Rich Paul and Ben Simmons, are they going to really put us in a put in? I think people don't understand the impact of this Ben Simmons situation, that the impact is going to have down the line. And I think the people that are going to have to bite the bullet are going to be the future stars in the NBA. I think the owners in this next CBA negotiations are going to be ruthless. I was recently reading this morning that now some NBA players, some NBA G, uh, owners and GMs want Daryl Morey to sit on Ben Simmons and not move him, make an example out of him. Basically to say, we want to show you that you are not going to over, you are not going to overthrow the system. You're not going to overthrow the system. And they want him to sit there. So they make an example of him that players cannot just step, stand up and do whatever the hell they want while being under contract and basically force teams into doing whatever they want to do. This is what I think could possibly happen in the future. I think that they, um, they may consider having shorter contracts. And these four or five year deals, I think they may show them to like two, three, right? Teams don't want to make that commitment to players anymore long term when you never know what these guys may d decide to, to do in the next year, right? Maybe th them and the coach get into an argument and the guy wants out, right? I think that may be a possibility. I think they may try to figure out a way to take out some provisions that allow guarantees. I think in the NBA, because there's so much, so many guarantee contracts, I think it's given players a lot of freedom to feel like, okay, they can do whatever they want. That's not the case in the, in the NFL. Those owners in the NFL, man, they those guys are ruthless, right? I think that may be something. Um, um, I think I think that may be something they may, they may explore. Now I don't know if the players' association is going to stand for that, but I think it will be something that's on the table. And I also think that the actions of Ben Simmons and his representatives are going to have a lasting effect on the future. And I think the saddest part is these guys don't care. Ben Simmons doesn't care about oh how is this going to affect future players. These guys don't care. Rich Paul and these guys don't care. People get upset when I say Rich Paul. I don't know. Is Rich Paul your God or something? Is he the untouchable guy? Like, what do we understand? Does Dave Chappelle need to do a stand-up comedy skit about Rich Paul so you guys will go try to cancel him too? What is going on here? A lot of people are defending this guy like he said that's the, he's their father or something like this. He's part of the sports world. If I can discuss LeBron James, I can discuss Kobe Bryant, Kawhi Leonard. What makes you think he's off, he's off the table? I'm going to discuss him. This is exactly what I think. Right. And I think these guys don't care. I think they're going to mess it up for future players to come down the road. And I think they're going to be the ones that are going to have to bite the bullet. I think they're going to they're going to be the ones that are going to have to bite the bullet. And I don't, I don't think these guys care, to be quite honest with you. These are my raw opinions on it. However, you want to feel whatever way you want to feel. That's your opinion. But this is what I think. So what I want to know from you guys is, do you think the decisions and things that are happening with this Ben Simmons situation are going to have an impact on future stars? Or do you think, listen, this is an isolated incident? There will be no residual effects in the future. Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wishing you guys an amazing day and catch you guys on the next episode.